Hello and welcome back to another one of my Meraki instructional videos. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Meraki MX security appliance. That's the device you can see behind me. And we're going to, again, we're going to be trying to do that as quickly as possible. Now if you want to find out further information about the Meraki product, please visit our website. Or if you wish to find out further information about the video series here, or any other things that I'm up to, then please follow me at Meraki underscore SE on Twitter. And with that, let's get to it. Now before you unbox your MX, the first thing you should do is create a network to put it in. So log into your Meraki dashboard account and create a network. Now if you don't have a dashboard account already, please see one of my previous videos where I go through how you can create one. Now when you're logged in, click create a new network or select create a new network from the network drop down if you already have some existing networks and go to the network creation screen. Here, give your network a name and enter the order number serial number or the license key for the MX. As I already have a license key added to this organization, I'm just going to add the serial number. This will now create the network and we'll be able to start configuring the MX. Now because this MX has already been used in a previous demonstration, we can see that it has previously connected to the cloud controller but is no longer currently connected. If you have a brand new MX, you won't see this and it will show that the MX is not registered with the cloud controller. Now at this point, if you want to configure any of the options so that they go live the moment the MX is turned on, we can do this now. I'm not going to do that as I'm going to do this later on in the video. So now we've created a network with our MX, we can begin to install it. So here we have a Meraki MX90. Let's open it up and see what we have inside. So included is two cables, a patch cable and a crossover cable to help you get connected and some mounting hardware. Now you'll see as we take the MX90 out of the foam that this has two SFP ports as well as the copper ports to connect it to your LAN. Now let's go put it in the rack and get it up and running nice and fast. Now using the supplied power cable plug in the device and turn it on using the rear power switch. The MX will begin to boot and the power LED on the front will go orange. So once the MX is booted, the interface LEDs will go green. So now we have the MX powered on, we need to begin the basic configuration to get it connected to the cloud. Now in the majority of instances, your WAN provider is not going to give you an IP address through DHCP. In this case, we need to configure a static IP address. So either using the supplied Cat5 cable or another one you have to hand, connect to the management port on the front of the MX. So open a web browser and go to wired.meraki.net. Now this is a local management interface on the Meraki MX which can be used to configure basic settings to allow the device to connect to the cloud. Now, as we're connected through the local management port on the MX, it doesn't matter what we type in the address bar, we'll be redirected to this page. However, we can also get to this via the local LAN interface by just putting in the gateway IP address that the MX is running for the clients attached to that subnet. Now, this interface is available on all the Meraki devices and is designed for basic troubleshooting with cloud connectivity problems and also for setting up basic settings to allow a device to connect to the cloud controller. So for example, if you need to configure a static IP address, this is where you will do it. So we can see we also have an overview of the connectivity of the device and there are a number of problems at this particular moment. So let's try and rectify that. If we go to uplink configuration, we're asked to authenticate with the device to be able to change the WAN IP settings. Now by default, this is the serial number of the device, but this can be changed later on once we have the device connected to the cloud. So I'm going to enter the serial number and let's log in. So here we can now change the interface settings for the LAN and WAN settings. So we can change the secondary port, which is a dual purpose port from uh, LAN to WAN, but we're just going to use one for this particular scenario. So I'm going to set a static IP address, so I'm going to change this to static here, and I'm going to enter the details in here. So let's enter the IP address. We're going to leave the netmask the same, and let's give it the gateway and DNS server settings it also needs. Now we can also 
add a few other settings in here and one of these is the web proxy settings. So if you have a web proxy which requires authentication for outbound web connections, this is going to cause some problems with the connectivity to the cloud. In that case, we can configure the settings you need to get through that proxy in this page here. Now I don't have one in my particular setup, so I don't need to fill this in. Now I'm going to save the settings, and now the device is ready to go. So if you are fortunate enough to have a WAN provider that gives you an IP lease through DHCP, then none of the previous configuration is necessary. It's a matter of plugging in your MX and it will automatically register to the cloud. So now we've finished with the local configuration, we can disconnect the management link and we can connect the WAN interface into the internet port on the front of the MX. So now the power LED on the MX has gone green, we know the device is connected to the cloud controller. We can double check that and make sure there are no issues by again connecting to the local management interface or going to wired.maraki.net from one of the LAN interfaces. So if I go to wired.maraki.net, I can now see the device is connected to the cloud controller, registered to the correct network, and there are no other problems on the connectivity side. So if we now go and look in the dashboard and we look at the network that we created earlier in this video, we can see that the MX90 has registered with the cloud controller and is ready for us to configure. Now we can go and start some basic configuration. For example, if I go to the left hand side here and go to network settings, I can start to set up the subnet and VLANs I want on this particular MX. Now I'm not going to go through this in this video, but it will be covered in further videos. So once you have your basic configuration completed, make sure to connect one of the LAN side interfaces on the MX and you'll be up and running. So in this video we've looked at setting up the very basics of the MX security appliance. We haven't had a look at many of the other features in more detail such as the firewall, the WAN optimization, or the site to site VPN. If you'd like to evaluate these features for yourself, please visit our website and sign up for a free trial. Thank you for watching.